Happy Monday, y'all. This is Charlene from Lady in Waiting 222, and today is our Monday mini devotional. So I wanted to share this verse today. I'm going to read a few verses from 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 through 6, but I want to highlight verse 4. Specifically, um, the story of Elijah has been something the Lord has been bringing me back to over and over and over again. I can't tell you how many times I've read this particular passage in the last year and some months since I've been on this Abrahamic journey of true faith, right? And walking by faith in that sight. But uh, I just wanted to share just some things that I was um, noticing this week as I was reading um, about Elijah again. So let's read. It's First Kings chapter 17, verse 1 through 6. I'm reading the New Living Translation, and it reads, Now Elijah, who was from Tishbe in Gilead, told King Ahab, As surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, the God I serve, there will be no dew or rain during the next few years until I give the word. Then the Lord said to Elijah, go to the east and hide by Kareth Brook, near where it enters the Jordan River. Drink from the brook and eat what the ravens bring you, for I have commanded them to bring you food. So Elijah did as the Lord told him and camped beside Kareth Brook, east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat each morning and evening. And he drank from the brook. As you read on, you'll find out that the brook eventually dried up. But I wanted to highlight verse 4 here. It says, drink from the brook and eat what the ravens bring you. For I have commanded them to bring you food. The story of Elijah is so interesting to me. Particularly for any of you who are in a season where you recognize that resources are a little bit different now, right? Um, it's been encouraging me in this last year, though, as I've made some major decisions in my life. One being that perhaps our resources may change, dry up, as we see in verse 6, but our source, which is God himself, never changes or dries up. He is the living water. But I wanted to highlight this verse because this is what stood out to me when I read it. For I have commanded them to bring you food. If you're in a position now or in a season of what you may consider lack, which really and truly you can't be. If you are in the kingdom of God, there is no lack. There's always abundance in the kingdom of God, right? Um, there's no lack in him. There's nothing missing in, in the kingdom. But even though maybe in the natural, resources may seem lean right now, right? I'm talking to you. Um, and sometimes we don't necessarily like the resources that God provides, right? He is the ultimate source. And while we see in this particular verses, Elijah's resources were the raven and the brook, which that in of itself doesn't make sense because you told the king that there was not going to be any rain or dew for the next few years. How is it that you are being able to be sustained by a brook, right? Which contains water, especially if there's no rain. But anyway, for I have commanded them to bring you food. The first thing that that stood out to me is that God is the one that provides the resource. He is the source, right? And he gets to choose what he wants. A raven is an unlikely resource to bring Elijah food because we know ravens typically eat roadkill, right? Um, so that in and of itself. But God specifically said, I commanded them to bring you food. And sometimes we could be pulling from or trying to get from a resource that God never commanded to produce something to sustain us, right? That's what I really wanted to highlight. And we have to be careful with that. Um, in whatever season that you're in, but recognizing that what resource God chooses may not necessarily be what we would want. But if he commanded it, that means that it is going to do what it's supposed to do. In Isaiah, it tells us that God's word goes forth and accomplishes the thing for which he sent it to do, right? It does not return back to him void. So if he commanded the raven 
to provide food for Elijah in this season of drought, what wouldn't he do for you? You don't get to pick and choose the resource he cho- he provides. You don't get to pick and choose the resource that he chooses. Um, we see that in the story of Naaman, right? The leper. But I wanted to just come and share with you that as long as God is providing it and he's telling you to drink, he's telling you to eat what he has commanded to provide for you, you can stand on that. Um, trust him today in whatever the resource is that he has given you, recognize that he is ultimately the source behind it. And he will sustain you. He will keep you. He will allow you to be sustained, right, in any season. But it's what he gets to provide. It's what he commanded to provide for you. We don't get to pick and choose that. So I pray that you all um, just Read the story of Elijah. It's so encouraging to me. There's so much in that past those chapters. Um, But I just wanted to encourage you with that this week. Uh, Now go and be blessed and encouraged. And we'll talk again soon. Take care.